Okay, so we are back and in this video, we're gonna be looking at what we have remaining from our previous few steps. So I'm gonna be viewing only this point cloud that essentially is made up of our walls, columns. Um, we have a lot of uh, items such as guardrails and uh, elevator rails. Um, and we have a lot of stuff on the decks here that we can get rid of, such as this material sock, um, stuff loaded on the deck. Um, this is a construction site, so there's always going to be a lot of stuff in here. Um, looks like some welding equipment. Um, stuff that we don't necessarily want to see in the point cloud, but that we can clean up really quickly. And we will do that right now. So I'm going to switch this to intensity. And let's go to a top view. And we're going to be, again, using the segmentation tool. So I want to make sure that I have my remaining selected. And we will start with segmentation. And I might actually change this to elevation in this case. It does make it a little bit darker for what's on the floor. So maybe I won't do that. But um, sometimes there's different views that might give you a nice clean view of what you're about to be cropping. So I'm going to open up my segmentation tool. And I'm going to just start at this inside corner. And I want to be looking for things that potentially I do not want to delete. But essentially I want big kind of swaths big chunks of this project to be removed at once so that it just really cleans up the decks and we don't have all these um, kind of floating points that aren't really relevant for what we're looking at. So in this case, this entire bay looks like it's pretty clear. So I'm gonna just snap right down to here, looking at where this line is hitting this column to make sure I'm not clipping that column at all, but getting pretty close to it. And we'll try right there. And I might just do a few spot checks to make sure that I'm inside the face of that wall and off that column. And so I'm going to come back through, make sure there's no penetrations or anything on the decks that I didn't want to accidentally delete. And looking pretty good, pretty tight there at the top. So let's go ahead and remove that. So I can always look at it from the side to make sure that I didn't clip off any faces of anything. And we can actually do additional selection um, looking at it from an angle. Um, but what I typically like starting with is doing the main big sections at once and just using the rectangular tool to uh, really go through and crop out big chunks of points at a time. So if I'm unsure whether I'm cropping a column, I'll just zoom in like that to make sure. Um, but I'm looking, feeling pretty good about that. And we'll just crop right there. And I'm just going to continue on doing the same thing, just cropping the stuff on the floors that I don't want. Because remember, in the last video, we actually had created a separate floor um, layer of this project, and that we actually have left over. So all this stuff is just kind of remnants and dirt and stuff that um, was sticking up a little bit off those off the deck that um, we can remove without really any type of penalty. Um, Okay, I'm going to actually leave. It looks like there might have been a penetration there, maybe a few penetrations. So it um, looks like there's a lot of stuff leaning up in this window, actually. Um, so I might skip over those, and maybe we'll come back and do a little cleanup with those a little later. So, okay, I'm going to pull right through here. I'm not sure what that is right there. So um, I want to be careful not to delete anything. So I'm going to just click right here. And let's take a look at this, those points. So it actually looks like, I believe those are actually reshores for the deck up above, because I know they were uh, doing some demo work up above. And so I think we have some reshores here. So I think all those were fine with deleting those out. I just wanted to make sure that they weren't any pipes, such as this uh, uh, fire riser there, that stand pipe. So anyway. So from this point, I'm pretty comfortable just coming in here. I'm going to just take a big chunk all the way up to that fire riser. And we'll crop essentially using that column down there right to the corner. Oops. Didn't stick. Okay, there we go. 
and I can actually see there's a lot of drilling taking place right here. So I'm going to leave all those holes. Those are reshores again. And I'm going to take a big chunk out over here all the way down, leaving again those holes in the deck. And yeah, let's just clean this up. So you can see overall floor plan now. We've really done majority of the perimeter. Looks like I missed a tiny little chunk right there. So I can come in and just crop that. And okay, so we're looking pretty good. We got quite a bit happening here. Um, so I've been mainly using the uh, the rectangle rectangular sake selection. Um, there are other methods here. We can use our freeform again, and we can use this to really kind of um, you know selectively go through and pull out items that I want to clean up. In this case, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not picking up any of the penetrations I want to leave. So I can really just go through and selectively grab stuff. Do this real quick. You really want to be careful though that you don't spend too much time doing these because sometimes you'll accidentally pick something up that you didn't want to and then you just waste a lot of time. So the more complicated of a shape I've found um, can sometimes come back and bite you. So hopefully in this case, that does not happen. So this is actually a new plate right there that's getting set up for some structural steel. New beams coming in. So again, I'm looking, it's good to kind of zoom out and make sure that you're not picking up stuff that you don't want. So there's another penetration. So go around that stuff. And okay, so I'm just going to pull this up and then I'm going to trace out these columns. That looks like another steel connection. It looks like that one might be just leaning on the floor. So we'll leave a few points around there. Again, that looks like it's on the floor. We can double check that in a second. So, okay, so that's another way of doing it. Um, make sure there's no columns and remove. And we can see that, yes, those were leaning up on the floor in that case. Um, okay, so with that, I would just keep continuing on. This one is, this video is going a little bit longer just because this stuff does take a little bit of time. Um, so I think you kind of get the point. And um, yeah, there's a, a little bit of manual work involved in this process, but overall it's it's not too bad. It's kind of fun to go through and, and clean things up. Um, so anyway, um, with that, I will probably just end this video here and I will probably continue on to uh, to clean this up and make sure that we're ready for the next step. So thanks for watching. In the next video here, we are going to actually be importing a DWG and then uh, using that DWG to reestablish our coordinates and align it to grid. So uh, thanks for watching. Next one is going to be really important. So make sure to check that out as well.